foolish humans to think that it was a good idea to bring me, the king of the dinosaurs, to their insignificant city. First, I would start by destroying this city. What the heck was that? Can't be me, I've been standing here this entire time. Oh. Pardon me, but is this your city? Because it's my city now. So do you wanna go? Cause I'll show you why they call me the king of the- Excuse me, king of the what? King of your mom if you don't get this foot off me. Hey Rangers, welcome to Super Important Reviews. My name's Steve. I'm Jessica. And Shinji's around ah! here too. <laughs> Try to rip off her slippers. You wanna be in the video, huh? Look, look, he's Shinji too. He likes dinosaurs. He loves dinosaurs. He's also getting kind of heavy. <laughs> he's like 20 pounds now. Uh, but today we're going over the Revoltech, the Lost World, Jurassic Park T-Rex. Uh, I want to say, I didn't actually know this was a thing until I saw it pop up pre-owned on uh, AmiAmi. So, I decided to pick it up for my wife because she's the hardcore Jurassic Park lover in the household. Uh, she's the one that has pretty much all the toys I used to have when I was a kid. Well, can't say all of them, I wish. <laughs> well, I used to have the compound. God, I want the compound again. Jeez, I wish. Yeah, that's only like 150. You're, now you're pulling on my pants, you little fart. And I know this isn't the Revolt Tech you guys have been asking for, but I kind of wanted to do this one because I just don't know how many people actually know that this one's a thing. Yeah, I knew about that they made their own mold of a T-Rex, but... I didn't know they made legitly, uh, you know, T-Rex yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's odd. Especially, like, they picked the Lost World to go with. With anything. <laughs> I, like, I figured they'd do the first one. I have, like, the destroyed fence scene to come along with it. That would have been awesome. That would have been awesome. Uh, this one has weird accessories. I'll say that. But anyways, uh, we're just going to get into it. So without further ado, first packaging, you get a nice shot of the figure inside the packaging on the front doing a pretty nice roar. Got the Lost World Jurassic Park T-Rex number 29 in the Sci-Fi Revoltex series. Yeah, I guess it's science fiction. <laughs> Let's be like, eh, that's kind of stretching, but all right, whatever. Uh, for the top, just tells you more of the stuff. Has Is that like Jurassic Park in Japanese or is that Tyrannosaurus? That's Tyrannosaurus, yeah. Hmm. Side of the packaging just tells you how revolt techs work. Opposite side of the package, you get the T Rex kind of stretched out there a bit. Back of the packaging just shows you all the stuff that he can do and come with. Because, again, comes with trees. And some more description stuff I can't understand. And some legal mumbo jumbo. And also, you can open this up and it'll show you the figure inside of the package. Uh, I could put the T Rex thingy upside down. <laughs> so my bad there uh some more information about the figure and about the movie as well with shots from the film so uh, let's get him open up out of his cardboard prison now that we got him open up out of his cardboard prison first i guess we'll go over his accessories uh which what he comes with is a little display stand so you can actually put him on which he comes with two not technically palm trees. <laughs> Not sure what these are. It's prehistoric fauna. But you just take them. There's two peg holes right here behind the little other plants. And I'm assuming... Oh, these are these also have ratchet joints on the bottom, so you can articulate these. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, man, this is a pain in the butt, though. Get in the hole. Please? Pretty please? Uh, uh. Alright, one's in. <laughs> no! Alright, found that sucker. Number two, somewhere down here. It's always like one thing on every toy that just never wants to go in. Ever, ever. Never, ever, never. Well, it didn't break, thankfully. It just went flying somewhere across my room. So this is literally the worst spot for a peg hole because you got stuff in front of the stupid thing it's a tree <laughs> so trying to get it in there isn't easy so i'm just going to try to attach it with the tree off <clears throat> it's kind of in 
It's kind of in. Can I just do this video without the tree in? That'd make my life so much easier. But we gotta do it for the rangers. Gotta be professional. Show everything. Gotta show everything. My fat fingers were not designed for this. Whew, all right, that's it. Let's put the tree back in. Please don't pop back out. Oh no, this is gonna be a pain in the butt. They flew out of there so easily. All right, cool. We have some trees. They're a little limp. <laughs> uh, but if you bend them around, you can articulate them so they kind of look like they're supposed to. So once you get them in, you have his display. There is two little pegs on the bottom, which is also pretty cool because they actually have the footprints for the T-Rex there as well. So it kind of makes for an added little display if you don't want to actually have the T-Rex on it, but you can kind of still see the imprints left over, which is really neat. But the rest of it is just a uh, mud color with some browns, darker browns, and a glossy highlight to give it the, kind of that wood slick. Same with the plants, you got some greens, very dark green on the center section. It has a little bit of gloss finish over as well. Same with the rocks underneath the plants, also super glossy. Uh, a little bit of plants kind of spread out here and there in between everything for the trees. A little bit of bark coloring and some Weird little flower things on top. I'm not sure what that's all about. I'm sure it's a specific kind of tree. Not 100%. <laughs> but on the T-Rex, there are some peg holes on the bottom of his feet. You just peg it in. Now, that's the one thing I'm wondering is... This isn't the buck, right? This is actually the female, yeah? I'm going to assume... I think that is the female because she's more brown than green. And the buck was the green one. Alright. Because I know in the pictures it shows the when it's running around the town. That was the male, wasn't it? Yeah. Because that was the one he tranked. It doesn't peg in there very well, though. I'll say that. Because <laughs> they're very tiny pegs. But it's good enough to once you get it in there, it should at least stand on it on your shelf. If I can get it back in anyways. So once you get it in, we're going to... Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I may be lying. This might not actually stay on there. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of there. <laughs> so, yeah, it might be nice that the pegs were a little bigger. I kind of see why they're not bigger, though, because how big this figure is, you can't really go that much higher into the foot is kind of the issue that you're going to have here. But not touching it. It's staying... Yeah. And then it also comes with a storage container, which, uh, sadly, this doesn't actually have the Revoltek coins. Uh, I think this figure came out in 2011, is what it said. Yeah. I want to say. I saw stuff for 2011, somewhere around there. But, uh, that's what usually this was for. Or storing your extra pieces, which would be the other T-Rex feet. And the little plate for the display stand. Uh, usually there's a place to peg it on here. This doesn't have it, so this will just kind of just sit in front of your display. It just kind of tells everybody what the figure actually is. But just tells you it's the T-Rex, Lost World, 1997. No little hole. So that was a year before Zilla. Man, I'm old. But again, she comes with a pair of slightly more relaxed feet. Because the ones she has on her are more of the outstretched. She's stomping on and stuff. This one would be better for a walking pose, I would imagine. Uh, but also to point out that it doesn't actually have the pig hole on the bottom here either. But detailing's still really nice. You see the scales on the top. Nails are done in a nice glossy black finish. Bottom's got a little bit of yellows and greens going on. And then how you swap out the feet. I'm just gonna do one for now. Uh, you just literally just pull straight out from the ratchet joint. And then, hopefully this goes in there fairly easy. I doubt it. <laughs> because I haven't had really much luck with uh, Revoltex having very easily attachable accessories when it has to do with the bloody well, ratchet joints. But once you get it in, now you can kind of have it looking like the T-Rex is more in a walking pose. If you wanted. I kind of like the flat foot better because especially how small and long the figure is it's nice to have a little bit of added support for the feet which i think this one does a little bit better yeah. but still a nice option 
Uh, cause again, like I kind of want to use this one for walking, but then I feel like I need more of a stand for her in order to stay upright though. And then going over the T-Rex's details her itself. Anyways, I uh, want to point out that I did get this pre-owned and it was considered a beast. So, uh, the T-Rex does have a couple of scuffs noticeably right here at the eyebrow. And there's a couple here on the side of the thigh, which I think a lot of that had to do with the uh, the wire inside of the package. Because she also has one up here, too. I'm just going to call it a she. Makes my life easier. <laughs> I don't know why, too, because half the stuff I call it he, and it's technically a she. For the head sculpt, looks very nice. Uh, I want to say typical T-Rex, but it's the Jurassic Park T-Rex. With a very rounded snout. You got the huge chin like jawline back here and then got some teeth on the inside very nicely painted and a white bone color inside of the mouse done in a pink fleshy tone with a little bit of gloss for the tongue to give it a little bit of that wet shine to it for the top of her head done in a dark green transitioning into a light green with the lower jaw being done in a dirty yellow same with the under section of the neck here transition to the back and you get a little bit of that stripe pattern which looks black. Looks like it's done in the black. It's just kind of the shine of the light gives it a little bit more of a green color. But once you get to the back and looking at the tail, you can definitely tell that that's more of a black coloring. Uh, and then for the tiny with the arms, which has a little paint hiccup right there. That's not actually a scuff. But the top's done in that green. Under section's done in the yellow with... A little bit of black kind of here and there. I don't know why there's some black on this ball. I didn't see that. <laughs> Maybe it's not hiccups. Maybe it's just that's how the figure came. <laughs> Who knows? But for the undersection, you get a little bit of added detailing for the harder underbelly. You can see a little bit of the skin wrinkling and veins on the sides and the rib cage kind of peeking through a little bit. She's kind of skinny. Could be a little bit thicker. Who doesn't like a thick dinosaur? For the back for her legs, you get a little bit more of that stripe pattern, some muscle definition for the calf area here. Feet are done very nicely again. With uh, the scales also on the top section here, right where you get to the bend. And then the rest of it's done in pretty much the same coloring as the other feet with uh, some black for the nails and then the under sections. A little bit more yellow. But you're generally not going to be seeing that anyways because the foot's going to be down. Again, this one, to me, seems like it's more meant for walking. And then for the tail, pretty straightforward. does have a bendy wire in there, though. That's not too bad. So you can't articulate it. It's just kind of weird because usually I'm used to having, like, I figured it'd have, like, two ratchet joints put into there. Which would look kind of odd. Yeah, that would. So this is one of those situations I kind of actually enjoy the bendy wire. And for the most part, I would be keeping it straight anyways. There's not really much of a reason to bend it because their tail is mainly used for balancing. Mm -hmm. So when it's starting to whip around all over the place, the animal's not going to be uh, keeping upright. But uh, yeah, detail-wise, pretty happy with it. It's just mainly, it's a really tiny figure though. Yeah. Even for a revolt tech. And for her articulation, her head could look about that far. Down about that far. The jaw can open about that far closes the arms can move up and down and rotate uh that's about it though yeah, <laughs> if you wrote if you <laughs> yeah I'll say with the uh ratchet joints on these guys you can get them to do more stuff but a lot of it has to do with rotating the ratchet joint out and then you can get the arm to kind of go left to right but it's a lot of just kind of finessing uh but also has a rotation here on the head as well Nothing really for the body. Legs can go <laughs> out about that far, inwards about that far, uh, yeah. backwards about that far, forwards about that far. No, no, I guess a little bit of rotation. A little bit of rotation at the knee. Decent bend at the knee. Oh, that's not too bad. A little bend at the top part of the ankle. And a bend here at the feet. Can also rotate at the feet all the way around. And then for the tail again, can shift it side to side on the ratchet joint. Oh, which that actually pops out pretty easy. Oh. And then for the rest of the tail is a bendy wire. 
time for some quick comparisons here. We have the Revolt Tech Tyrannosaurus Rex from the Lost World Jurassic Park, but next to some other Revolt Tech figures with the Gamera 1967 figure and the Legion 1996 figure from Gamera 2 Advent of Legion. And here it is compared next to some original Jurassic Park figures because we have to showcase that figures back in the day were just, well, not really better because uh, these guys are kind of derpy. But these are two of the Tyrannosaurus Rexes from the Lost World Jurassic Park's toy line from the originals with, I think that's the Thrasher. Let me know in the comment section below. I don't remember my Jurassic Park figures as well. And this is the bull T-Rex that could actually swallow people, which is my favorite. And here's some more original Jurassic Park figures with the uh, Lost World Baby T-Rex. Not really sure how this is a baby anymore because I remember in the Jurassic Park 1, this is the baby because it had the battle damage on the side and it was smaller. Makes sense, right? But then you had the actual baby T-Rex figure for the Lost World Jurassic Park that came with the actual cast for it. So this guy's kind of obsolete for that line, but whatever. And a original Velociraptor sound effects figure. And because I brought him down for the skit anyways, here we have him with the 24 inch long NECA Godzilla 2014 and the SH, or SH figure arts, my bad, of the Ultraman Orbs. Spaceium Zipurion figure. So overall with the Revolt Tech T-Rex from the Lost World Jurassic Park, it's a pretty solid figure. I don't know at the price point though that I got it at that I'm happy with it. Cause we got it for about 50 bucks I think I paid for you. And for me, I don't think there's really enough here for that. Now maybe if it would've had a couple of different accessories, like maybe if it would've came with part of the, uh, the trailer, yeah, that would They got knocked cool. over even the Jeep. Like, you just have, like, the Jeep, and maybe it could have had, like, a removable roof. That would have been, cool. been cool. Uh, but with the stand just being part of the background, <laughs> yeah. just seems kind of generic for me. Because for the most part, it doesn't really have to be a Jurassic Park dinosaur the way it's set up. It's just, it's a T-Rex figure. Yeah. There's nothing really here to really merit the Jurassic Park name for me. Yeah, that's what I... Th that's what's kind of disappointing, you know, but that's maybe why I was mistaking it for, you know, the T-Rex one that I saw before. Yeah, it's pretty much um, the only reason I really gravitated towards picking it up for you is just it's it was Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, there's nothing really here outside of just the overall design of the T-Rex that really just makes me like feel the nostalgia for that movie because I actually really like the second movie. Yeah. It's pretty much like the third movie I still like, but it's goofy. It's a very goofy movie. Then you, it, it just, it bothers me because you can tell they're on a set. Like all the other ones, it's fine. But that one in particular, like just everything just seems fake. I don't know. But yeah, so uh, would, I, would I recommend this? If you can get it for really cheap, like 20, 30 range, I say would be, sounds pretty fair for me. Like I, I wouldn't really go higher than that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, like you have to be a very big fan of the T-Rexes from Jurassic Park, the Meredith, because especially since there's not really, to my knowledge, anything that goes with it. No. So this is it for that movie out of this line. And this, with the scale being the way it is. It might work with the Hot Wheels, like, Matchbox cars they had back in the day. If you guys collected those, like, this actually would be a pretty good scale for those, I would imagine. Because hmm. um, I kind of want to make, like, a little diorama for this guy. Just because the way it comes doesn't make me happy. So I want to make something to actually put it on. Yeah. So that might be something I do eventually. So for the price point I paid, I wouldn't recommend this. But if you can get it cheap enough, like again, 20, 30 ish range, then definitely hop on it. But what do you guys think? Have you guys picked up this Revolt Tech Jurassic Park figure? What's your favorite Jurassic Park figure? Or Starship Troopers is more your thing. Please let us know in the comments. Look a closer picture of this guy on our Facebook. You want to click the link in the description below. We also have our Patreon account with exclusive prints for the channel, also down in the description. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Bye-bye.